Hey, what's up guys? This is Larry and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna share you five tips I think that would be helpful for you if you're starting to want to take control of your finances. Uh, tune in to this video. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more future videos like this. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. Our money is hard-earned money. Like we need to make sure that this money is going to something fruitful, useful, and not be wasted on uh, unnecessary things. So the first thing to anything is to assess. You will assess your financial status. You need to know how much you got right now. How much is the money in your wallet? How much is like your money in the bank or so? For you to have a nice baseline. Yeah, you just count the money in your wallet, check how much money you have in the bank. Write it in a paper or in a notebook. Second is that you monitor your cash flow. What is the cash flow? Cash flow is the going in and going out of the money in your account. So technically, it translates to your income and expenses. You always need to know the current status of your finances, like how much money you got, how much debt you got. If you have a credit card, you will be able to compare your monthly expenses to your monthly income. The ideal is that you you live within your means spend less of what you earn so that you will have your savings to help you in monitoring those expenses you can either use paper if you're traditional you can use paper and notebook or if you're like me a bit techy uh there are popular apps in ios and android like uh you need a budget i personally use pocket expense oh my god it's training number three you need to always evaluate in those apps they have monthly reports there you can view your total expenses and your total income in like charts so that you would know if you are living within those means and if not you would be able to know where you spend a lot of money that you can reduce for you to have lesser expenses like for example when you're evaluating you notice that you've been taking grab or taxis much more often than before that part of your expenses gone up if you want to cut down on your transportation expenses you would maybe opt more to public transportation which is less expensive than when you're um, riding crab or taxi that's the point of knowing your actual expenses for that you could apply the principle of saving uh, back in high school my economy teacher said that the usual formula for your savings is that your income minus your expenses is equal to your savings so when you have your income then you spend 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 and whatever that is left from your after those spendings is your savings but the more ideal one is it's your income minus your savings equals your expenses What's the difference of the first one to the second formula? In the second formula, you will be prioritizing your savings for you to be sure that you will have savings, you deduct it from your actual income. Then, whatever is left is the money that you can um, spend and that's where budgeting comes in. And another thing that I like about that say that principle, you can control the amount of money that you will be saving. Like for example, I started by saving 10% of my monthly income. So that's for example, let's say 20,000 times 0.10. I'm bad at math. I'm an no joke. <laughs> so like 2,000. So monthly, you need to, to save 2,000 pesos of that 20,000. You are sure that you can save 2,000 pesos monthly. So times 12, you have 
24,000 savings yearly. You can start at 10% and go up to 15, 20. Now I'm in 25% of my income goes to my savings. And another important thing is before you think about saving, you need to pay all your debts first. Because I don't think saving has sense if you have a ton of debt to other people. Like, first of all, uh, it might cause uh, relationship problems with them, trust issues, and uh, I really don't like owing something to someone. Yeah, before you start saving, you need to pay all your debts first for your own peace of mind. Last but not the least, fifth tip is that your money should always have a purpose. Yes, like you, your money should have purpose too. Like for example, that 25% of my savings goes to my emergency fund account, which is an essential if you're starting. What is an emergency fund? An emergency fund is a fund that is for emergency, right? <laughs> but what kind of emergency? Like for example, we don't know what happens in life. Like what if tomorrow there's a crisis? Tomorrow you don't have your job anymore. So that emergency fund will like give you allowance to live, be able to continue living for at least six months. But yeah, that's the purpose of the emergency fund. Other purposes, for example, I have a planned trip in December. What I would do is instead of setting a budget in December, what I would do is like starting March, I would set a certain amount that would go to my imaginary travel fund in my account that is also tracked with my pocket expense app that you can guiltlessly spend in your travel because that's the purpose of the money that you've been setting aside it's like it's a it's a sense of security that even though you're spending like a very big amount since you know that you set this aside for that specific purpose which is traveling you won't feel heavily in spending that amount of money in your travels you earned it and you need to enjoy it also while you're still alive yeah again you don't know what will happen tomorrow will there be a tomorrow or will there be an asteroid coming from outer space here on earth and would wipe out okay so there's no nothing wrong in spending your hard-earned money into something that you would enjoy because you earned it uh, you deserve it so hopefully this tip will be helpful in starting your journey into financial freedom i am still in the process of studying this kind of financial thing i am also in my journey into financial literacy so i suggest you subscribe to my channel if you have suggestions for future videos let me know i want to be interactive with you yeah i think that's it i want to see you on my next video okay okay bye